Keith Grinke here from Top of MMA News with Eric Wilson. Eric Wilson, congratulations. Tonight you knocked off our number two um, bantamweight in the country, Roland DeLorme. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Why don't you tell, uh, tell uh, the, the readers of our site, you know, about the fight? Uh, it was a great fight. Like, I mean, it was, it could have went either way. Uh, it was very strong on the stand-up. Like, I mean, Roly came out very tough. He hit a lot harder than I expected, but I mean, you know, in, in MMA, you can you can't expect anything. Like I mean, it could go it could go either way. But um, yeah, he was relentless on the takedowns. He caught me on the takedown. I figured I just had to stick with the submissions and just keep to it. Uh, he didn't want to stand and bang with me too much. I caught him with some good leg kicks, and I think I changed his mind. And uh, yeah, I realized I could catch him on the leg, so I I uh, tried to go with that. And he he was pretty slick with his jujitsu and managed to escape. So. Well, like, last year this time, Roy DeLorme was kind of an unheralded guy, and then he went on to win a couple fights. Now you're the unheralded guy. Yeah. You win a couple fights. And, you know, looking at your record, you've, you've got, like, an ankle lock. you got a heel hook victory. Tonight you spent, like, rounds two and three, like, on the ground, controlling the fight, you know, from the back, from your back, mm -hmm. you know, attacking his legs time and time again. You know, talk about this. Like, who's teaching you the leg locks? You know, what's your school? What's your what's your jujitsu background, even? Uh, to be honest, I don't really have any formal martial arts aside from uh, judo, which is mostly stand up. Um, as for jujitsu, I've trained with some guys out of Matt Hume's gym. I've trained with some local guys around uh, Saskatoon, where I'm from. And um, as it as it stands with jujitsu, I don't really consider myself a jujitsu guy. Uh, jujitsu to me is gi stuff. And it's it's kind of sport jujitsu. That's how I think of it. Um, the way I see my ground game is it's it's mixed martial arts. Um, so I really I don't know I don't really specify any martial arts that I do on the ground. Um, as for my coach and the gym I train out of, it's called Way of the Dragon. We just established ourselves last year in uh, February. And before that, I was just training out of the YMCA. And um, so my coach is Ian McWalter and. My stand-up guy is Olaf Dravnik and Velomir Sabjuk. And I mean, when it comes to the leg lock stuff, that's even older. I've trained straight with him for three and a half years. And again, it's just, he's phenomenal. He's very underrated. He's not, again, he's got no formal martial arts background aside from judo. He's just, he's just a really, really intelligent guy. And I don't think I'll train with anybody else. So. Yeah, and you, you know, you, how, how long have you been in the MMA game? Like, I, I, I know a lot of the people out there just, you know, don't know you at all, like you know. And <laughs> yeah, um, approximately three and a half years I've been training. I started fighting uh, last February, well nine. That was my first amateur fight, and then I decided to go um, pro with King of the Cage, and uh, I think it was September was my first pro fight. And yeah, I just I don't know, I fell in love with it, and I just I plan on continuing to go, and see how far I can get. So. Well, you really had your game together today. I hope people get to see this fight, like. The stand-up, you were attacking the lead leg with the, with kicks. Um, I, I had Roy winning the first round, a close first round, and then you, you know, taking the next two. It was a split decision uh, victory, but I, I had you 29-28. Um, and it got to the point where you, Roy didn't want to stand up with you because you, you buckled his leg. Yeah. Um, just the stand-up, the ground game, you know, you, you seem to be uh, the complete package out there. <laughs> I try to be. I, like, I... You know, there's a, a few things I should have done different, but everybody says that after every fight. But uh, to be honest, if the decision went either way, I would have been satisfied. Like, I mean, to go three rounds with a guy who's never been three rounds, I think we both learned a lot from the fight, and it's it's not a loss for either one of us. I probably learned just as much as he did. So, I mean, it was it was a great fight, and I really appreciate this opportunity from CFC and from Roland Lauren. Yeah. And so, what does this mean to you? Uh, you know, saw your uh, girlfriend out there, and she's uh, ready to. Uh Give you your your first child, second, second child, second. you know, uh, in in a week or two. Yeah, uh, <laughs> October twenty third. So that was a uh, that was a big thing playing on my mind. But um, she she really insisted on coming out here, and she's just a big big support to me when it comes to the, the mental aspect of this game. I couldn't ask for a better a better friend. So well, that's great. You know, I'd like to thank you uh, for the time. Congratulations for going 4-0, and, and uh, we hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.